In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily embed a closed caption file or subtitle file in a video or movie so that you can easily turn on or off your subtitle file. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. In a couple of previous tutorials, I showed you how to permanently add subtitles into a video using Subtitle Next and using Handbrake. And basically, if you've not watched those tutorials, you can just check them out on screen uh, and I'll link them in the cards above. So basically, this is the video on how to permanently add subtitles using Subtitle Next. Uh, in the other video is how to permanently add subtitles to a video using Handbrake. And Handbrake is free, while Subtitle Next is a paid application that offers a lot of flexibility in terms of text alignment, positioning, and all those kinds of things that you might need when you want to permanently add subtitles or closed caption files to a video. Now in this video, I just want us to embed what is called more or less a soft subtitle into a video. And basically what this means is that if you're playing the video on an application like VLC for Windows or Mac or whatever, you'll be able to turn on or off the caption file. Or if you're watching the video on TV via a USB drive or thumb drive uh, that supports closed captioning, then you can easily turn on or off the closed caption file. So basically, the application we're going to use here is Handbrake. And Handbrake uh, for this tutorial comes in very handy. So basically, I have Handbrake open. And all I need to do is just drag my video. And the video that I'm going to be adding, uh, the embedded subtitles to is uh, my video on how to easily download YouTube subtitles as transcripts. Now what I've gone ahead to do is I've already prepared a translations for my English subtitle and this is the Arabic all the way to the English subtitle with Russian, Portuguese, Japanese, Italian, Hindi, French and all that. So basically what I need to do is I just need to drag my video here or I can click on open. Either way works. And once my video is loaded uh, just two things to do here. So basically, you need to know the dimensions of your video and uh, the frame rate. Now basically, my video is in a uh, 1280 by 720. Therefore, the preset to export or to encode the video in should also be the same. So basically, I'll just come here to and click on this. And once I click on that, there are a couple of options. General, web devices, and all these things. So basically, I just come to general and go to fast 720p so this is uh, 720p and 30 frames per second and just click on that and I've changed the preset and once I'm done with that I'll just go to the subtitles tab and click on that now once I click on that I'll just click on import and uh, for this tutorial I'll just import the subtitle file so, and you can stick around for the next tutorial and I'll show you how you can easily embed multiple caption file or subtitle files to the same video and basically this is uh, you see this with things like uh, Netflix where they have about 30 subtitle files in a single video and uh, basically now what we're going to do is just click on this this is the English uh, subtitle uh, subtitle file and just click on open once I click on open uh, the next thing that you need to know is that you need to know the language so that's in English and the character encoding now basically the, the main problem that you might face here is that when you have a, a caption file that is in a different language and that language has special characters for example Japanese and Chinese you need to know the correct character encoding that you need to select from here but for uh, this video and for because it's an English uh, caption file we just need the UTF-8 so basically once I select that I won't tick the banning because I don't want to permanently embed the caption file. I just want to make it a soft subtitle. So I'll just click on default. And once I do that, I'll just click on browse so that I can save my file. And just say embedding closed caption files file in a video. And just click on save. Now once that is done, you only need to just hit encode. And basically, by the time this video is done encoding, it should have embedded our subtitle file as a soft subtitle that you can easily turn on or off when you're playing the video on your computer, let's say with an application like VLC. 
uh, or maybe if you have a TV that supports closed caption files, if you play the video from a thumb drive or a flash drive, then it's possible for you to see the caption file on the TV. Now basically, you might need this uh, if you don't necessarily like uh, having permanent uh, subtitles on your videos. So basically this comes in handy or if you have a client that requires this kind of captions in their videos and they don't want the permanent one. So basically you can do this for different scenarios that you have and uh, as we wait for it to complete. The only downside to this process uh, I'll say is that you can't easily see the title of the source. That's one thing that I dislike with uh, using Handbrake to embed uh, caption files into a video because you don't see the full name of the caption file that you're trying to embed. So if you confuse and uh, for this case we've seen that all these files have the same uh, kind of name, uh, have the same name, it's just that the extension towards the end uh, to show the translation is the difference. So that's the only downside I find with Handbrake when it comes to embedding uh, caption files or even just adding caption files to a video. And uh, as you can see the video is uh, being embedded so it's still saying zero bytes because it's not yet completed. Now I'll speed up uh, things here so that we can at least uh, get this done and uh, I can show you how the final output looks when you embed closed caption files in a video. Now that the encoding is done, you can see it says Q finished. I'll just navigate back to the folder with the file titled embedded closed caption file in a video, embedding closed caption file in a video. So I'll just double click on it. I can just do a quick refresh and the video is ready. So I'll just double click on it and this will play uh, by default using VLC. And I've just hit the pause button. That is a spacebar key on my keyboard. And I'll just right click on it. And you'll see that when I click on it like that, you'll see subtitle under the subtitle, you'll see subtitle and the track uh, it's disabled. But if I click on English, then hit on play, that is spacebar. With the recent update on the YouTube internet, you can see that my subtitle file is on face. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Now, if I right click again inside VLC and come to the subtitle and select disable and play the video. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. This video is an update to my video on how so you can see that my subtitle file has been embedded as a soft subtitle that you can easily turn on or off inside a video player or even if you're using a TV that supports uh, closed captions. So that's it for this video. I've walked you through the simple process of embedding a soft subtitle or a closed caption file inside a video so that you can easily turn it off or on when you're watching it on a player inside your computer or via an, a, a device that supports closed captioning. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can embed multiple closed caption files or subtitles into a video. Thank you for watching. Kindly hit the subscribe button and until next time, bye bye.